bit about how you design the study um, and, and what really you're looking for. Investigators from the University of Southern California sent um, a 14 page questionnaire to every single person who was living there. It's a retirement community. But in those um, reports um, from people were and they answered questions about their lifestyle, especially. And they First, I want to talk about this, this resiliency. Are we talking about perhaps it could be a genetic resiliency? So uh, I think one of the most common things people have found, in fact, is that education does appear to be related to resiliency. And that throughout life, just like your skin, takes a lot of insults from UV light and cuts and scrapes and, you know, I mean, and starts accumulating them. I mean, you know, you, you want to maintain brain health and a lot of these things really matter, not just the genes you're bo born with, but also what happens through your life. Um, I mean, I know you're, you're continuing and there's still a lot more to learn, but what's the aha moment in all of this? So the, the 90 year olds are the ones who have allowed us to detect previously unknown pathologies sometimes or under recognized or studied pathologies and, you know, focus on, on them because they, it, they cause dementia at all ages. They're at high risk, but they also are the highest uh, levels of so-called resilience, where they appear to have pathology in their head and being fine.